Okay, so here's what we have to face is people go, well, tithing's under the law. I shouldn't have to tithe because Jesus came to destroy the law. Well, let's see what it says. Matthew 22, verse 34. But when Jesus, but when the Pharisees had heard that Jesus had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. And one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him, saying uh, to Jesus, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus answered him, love the Lord your there it is again. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like unto it that you should love your neighbor like you love yourself. And then he says, on, the, on this law hangs all the laws and the prophets. Now imagine a curtain rod. Remember when you are when you're, you know, in college, you broke, you had the tension win? You remember that you had to twist it? And it do you all not know what I'm talking about? You, does anybody know what I'm talking about? It's a little tension. Shower. I'm like, am I the only one that had to go through this? The tension rod and you got the shower curtain and then sometimes it falls and you know, it's a disaster, right? So imagine a curtain rod and that rod is called love. That rod's called love. And Jesus says on this law, the law of love hangs all the laws. So what they were saying was like, hey, Jesus, you know, what about all the laws? Because, you know, they had hundreds of laws. And what Jesus said is, no, in the New Testament, love is, is the law. This is the most important law. And on all, all of the other things that you need to do that I want you to walk in in obedience, hang on that one law of love. So let me make it more practical. In the New Testament... In the New Testament, there's no command to, to, that you have to volunteer. There's no commandment, like you're going to hell if you don't do it. Like that, that doesn't exist. There's no command that you have to do all these things for your kids. There's no command, there's no commandment. Let me back up even more. I, I do not, the reason I don't commit adultery on my wife or Pastor Joanne, is not because there's a law that says I can't commit adultery on my wife. The reason I don't do it is because I love Joanne. Amen. Does that make sense to you? So my love for her fulfills that commandment. So God doesn't have to give me a law to say in the New Testament, don't commit adultery on your wife. My love for my wife fulfills that commandment. Does that make sense to you? So God doesn't need to give me a law that says you need to volunteer or it's a sin. My love for God fulfills that commandment. He doesn't give me a command to fast. My love for God fulfills that commandment. He doesn't give me a command to tithe. My love for God fulfills that commandment. He doesn't give me a command to say I have to love Jonas. You know, like you got to do this for Jonas and do that for Jonas. My love for God fulfills that commandment. Praise the Lord. So what Jesus says is in the New Testament, the law of love. If this law falls, everything falls. Praise the Lord. So love fulfills every commandment. So that's why in the New Testament, you don't see us operating on all these laws. We're not operating out of laws and rules. We're operating out of love. Our love for God. Praise the Lord. So this whole mentality of like, well, I don't need to tithe because, you know, tithing's on the law and Jesus came to destroy the law. Praise God. Woo, hallelujah. He came to destroy it. How many of you have ever heard that preached? All right, put the verse up. This is Jesus in red letters, Matthew 5, 17. This is Jesus. Thank not that I have come to destroy the law. I have not come to destroy it, but to fulfill it. So any teaching you've heard about tithings under the law and Jesus came to destroy the law and we don't need to tithe because tithings under the law and Jesus came to destroy the law is not what Jesus said. It's the actual opposite of what he taught because Matthew 5, 17 says, Thing not, I have come to destroy the law. I have not come to destroy it, but to fulfill it. So that leaves one last question before we go. What is the fulfillment of the law?